Hey, I'm Severo. I'll be doing short Cinema 4D tutorials, mostly on stuff that I'm currently working on or um, tips or tricks that I find along the way. I tend to work on a project and, you know, figure something out and then I completely forget about it after the project is over. So it's, you know, found knowledge that I'd like to share with you guys. So let's get started. Today I'm going to do a quick tutorial on the color shader. I had a client who asked me to do a transition from one color to another. Didn't want to have them have the clones flip or anything of that nature. So I used the color shader to accomplish that. Let me show you how that works. We'll start, I guess, going through and doing like a basic setup of just uh, clones dissolving and then go into uh, how to do a color shift and then a little further into it, show you how to do the same effect but using an image with an alpha. So I'll start out with making a clone um, and then a polygon. I'll make that, um, that's a good size right there, 100 by 100. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna do them on the x-axis. Do 100, um, 110. So they have a little bit of gap between them and we'll do a bunch. Uh, just a plain white. I'll make it luminous so that you can actually see it. And then I'm going to give it an alpha channel. And on the alpha channel, I'm going to add the MoGraph color shader. I'm going to add that to the cloner. And then I'm going to add a plane to the cloner. I do not need, for this for our purposes currently, where I'm just gonna set it up so that we're just you just showing what the color shader's effect is. So we're gonna turn on color mode and use alpha strength. I'm gonna make it a linear down the x-axis. One of the things that the uh, color shader uh, depends on is that the cloner's color is basically set to black. I'm not 100% sure on how exactly that works, but this is what I've found, and this is how I use it. So now the plane effector will basically dissolve on the clones. Instead of them normally popping on, you can actually have them dissolve on. It's, it's amazing how many times I've actually looked <laughs> for this thing. I, every time I go to do it, I can never remember how to do it. And it's such a simple setup. It is very easy to do, but can't ever remember how to do it. So that's that's that basic setup. In the case of the, the sample I showed earlier, there's a couple different effects going on here. There's a, a formula effector, and then also basically this same setup here, doing a color shift from the red to the white. And I'll show you how to set that up real quick. All the color shader actually does is it just does a value from black to white or white to black, depending on the direction of your plane effector or your shader effector or whatever effector you're actually using. So you can put it in any channel. And in this case, what I did was I made a fusion shader. In the blend channel, I'd put a color. And then in the base channel, I also put a color. Let's make it blue. And then I used turn mask on and I stuck the color shader in the mask. So it's essentially transitioning from white to blue. It works on the fall off of the actual setup you have. So, so the cool thing about using the fusion shader, however, let's say you had a, a texture map with an alpha channel and you wanted to do the same thing amongst clones to transition them completely off. I did a quick, quick little setup here with um, just some basic uh, texture with alpha. Uh, I created it in here with a spline shader and it's just pumped in color and alpha. And it's a basic cloner, just two clones in and just iterating between one and the next, one and the next, one and the next, one and the next. In order for this to work, you actually have to go into your alpha channel and use the fusion shader. And the setup here is slightly different than the other one where you have a base channel here, but instead of doing a mask, you're actually using doing your blend channel and doing the color shader in your blend channel and then setting that to multiply so that it's essentially multiplying whatever the blend, whatever the color shader is sending out on the alpha channel. So if I grab this and I add the same same setup that we did on the previous one, which is a plane effector, no transforms, set the color mode on, turn on alpha strength, and then set that guy to linear. 
uh, down the... it should be X. X. I'll scale that guy up again. Um, and of course, set the cloner's color to black with the plane effector along it. And as you can see, it dissolves on and off the A's. Now, if I repeated that to the B's, did the same thing. So in the alpha channel, I add a fusion shader. And then in the blend channel, I just give it a color shader and set this to multiply. Here's the completed effect. And you can also just you know smooth it out a little more so the transition time is a little longer. So it's not doesn't feel quite as poppy. That's about it. Make sure to follow us on workbench.tv and if you have any questions or comments or ideas for future tutorials, leave a comment below.